Hello, in this video we're gonna talk about a ground rapture. A ground rapture is the deformation in the ground that marks the intersection of the fault with the Earth's surface. It can cause fissuring, displacement of the ground due to movement of the fault. Specifically, it can cause buildings to collapse, roads to divide, and rice fields or irrigation system to displace. Well, there are two types of ground rapture, a vertical displacement and a horizontal displacement. A vertical displacement occurs when one side of the ground goes up or down, or both sides move with one side going up and the other going down. So I have here a 3D fault model. By the way guys, if you want to have or create like this on your own, you are free to watch a tutorial in creating out of this one on my YouTube channel. I will just put the link down in the description below. <laughs> Again, a vertical displacement occurs when one side of the ground goes up or down, or both sides move with one side going up and the other going down. Yeah, like this. <laughs> so next is the horizontal displacement. It happens when there is lateral movement from side to side, one side goes to left or right, or both move sideways in different directions. So again, I have here a 3 default model. So in horizontal displacement, it happens when one side goes to left or right, or both move sideways in different directions. Yeah, like this. In addition, in vertical displacement, there are normal fault and reverse fault. In normal or deep sleep fault are inclined fractures where the blocks have mostly shifted vertically. It is the most common type of fault and it is often found along the virgin plate boundaries. So I have here a fault model again. <laughs> this is a hanging wall and this one is a foot wall or what we call a foot fault. In a normal fault, when the hanging wall, this one, moves downward relative to the foot wall, that is what we call a normal fault. The hanging wall would go down the foot wall and gravity would be the force that would pull it down, okay? The gravity makes it go down the slice. Yeah, you're right. Now let's talk about the reverse fault, and from the word itself, it is the reverse or the opposite of the normal fault. In a reverse fault, the block above the fault moves up relative to the block below the fault. This fault motion is caused by compressional forces and results in shortening. It indicates that compressive shortening of the grass. A reverse fault is called a thrust fault if the dip of the fault plane is small, but in this case, we aren't gonna talk about it. Yes, we aren't gonna talk about it. So I have here once again the fault model. <laughs> again, this is the foot wall and this is the hanging wall. The movement in reverse fault looks like this. The hanging wall moves upward relative to the foot wall. Again, the hanging wall moves upward relative to the foot wall, like this. Again, as a recap, in normal way or normal fault, a hanging wall slides down the foot wall, and in a reverse wall, the hanging wall goes up the foot wall. Gravity pulls it down and it takes pressure or pushing in order to go up. Natural earthquakes cannot be avoided, but they can be greatly reduced by recognizing hazards, constructing better structures, and providing an education, something like that, about an earthquake safety. We can lessen the risk of human-induced earthquakes by planning for natural earthquakes. Earthquakes happen without warning. We don't know when the next major earthquake will happen, but we can take action now to prepare to survive it and minimize impact. Preparedness starts with a plan. For individuals and families, this means putting together an earthquake preparedness plan and kit. We should learn what to do before, during, and after an earthquake.